Hey everyone, we have a Dark Elf vs Dwarf battle for you today, a 2v2, so faction v faction. Let's have a quick look at what the armies are, or what, who they've brought. So, the Dark Elf armies, they have brought Black Art Corsairs, some Harganeth Executioners in their front line, followed up with some Shades with Great Swords and also Normal Shades, and one group of Harpies to try and get into the artillery and disrupt. We also have Malekith on a on his chariot and a Death Hag in order to try and assist in that uh, infantry fight. On the right, we do have two Reaper Bolt Throwers for the other Dark Elf. They have three Hageneth Executioners hiding, so hopefully the artillery won't fire on them. Another Malekith on his chariot and a Sorceress of Fire. And another set of Harpies to get into the backs of those artillery as well. They also have some Dark Riders with repeated crossbows in the forest. And some Dark Riders off to the right here. Hopefully to flank around. The Dwarves. They have a... On their left flank they have Ulthra's Raiders. Rangers with great weapons. They have Dragonback Slayers at the back protecting their organ gun. For their front line, they have some Dwarf Warriors. Backing them up are three sets of Hammerers. For their Lord, they have Thorgrim Grudgebearer, and they have a Runesmith and a Thane to go along with that. Over on the hill, they have set up a defensive position with three Grudge Throwers and a Grudge and a Goblobber. So that's four artillery over there, an organ gun over here, five pieces of artillery. They've got Grumblegold, the White Dwarf, as their Lord, and a Master Engineer. They also have four Bugman's Rangers up on the hill to fire down nasty crossbow, cross bolts of doom. <laughs> and they've got a front line of miners to just hold off people from charging up that hill. Okay, so let's see how this goes down. So, the Dark Elf army goes straight over to attempt to intercept the other infantry force. And our harpies just go straight for that artillery. Attempting to stop that as much as we possibly can. The... Oh yep, here we go. The flanking force comes charging out. Hageneth Executioners coming over, Ripper Bolt Throwers attempting to get a good position, but they don't seem to from that starting line. Bugman's Rangers absolutely annihilating those Black Art Corsairs, but our Shades are also putting some heavy work into that heavy armour there, as well as our Death Hag with her anti-infantry. So we should rip to shreds this front line quite quickly, I would hope. If the Bugman's Rangers don't get too many shots off, that is. Malekith going over here to try and put a Vortex into these Bugman's Rangers. Works out a Charm, Vortex, and a Wind Spell. Absolutely annihilating two, or three actually, of those Bugman's Rangers. They are basically done and dusted. And this front line getting quite a beating as well here. This flanking unit has basically absolutely annihilated the organ gun. It is almost useless. Nice little bit of frost wind going down on the backs of those rangers there. There is still quite a lot of damage getting done into my shades though. And one group of Black Ark Corsairs has been chased off the battlefield by some hammerers. So the Bugman's Rangers and everything still doing quite a lot of work. My Harpies did manage to disrupt one of the Grudge Throwers and take most of their men out, but didn't quite fully kill any. But this front line has fallen, so there is no more front line left for the Dwarves. Just these Miners and... Oh, that was a nice um, wind spell there. Straight across the Bugman's Rangers, grabbing those miners as well. 
Doing a nice little bit of damage there. Okay. So two spells basically taking out most of the Bugman Rangers. Our Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers are finally doing a little bit of damage. And this front line has been completely annihilated. Another Vortex spell going down, taking out what's remaining of those Bugman's Rangers. They've really taken some hits there. With Vortex spells and Wind spells and Breath spells. And they don't really have a lot left except for their Grudge Throwers now. Goblin Lobbers. Gob Lobbers. So it's basically a matter of Considering we've got these three Hargoneth Executioners still just sitting up here, it's a matter of getting these guys down and actually into here, really. The amount of damage that has been done, those Hargoneth Executioners should be coming down to help clean them up. And there we go. They've realised that that's probably Obviously a miscast there, not sure what was going on with that Vortex spell. But, the miner's actually coming over to the left side here to attempt to stop these Dark Riders from getting into the Grudge Throwers and the Goblobbers. Meaning that this side is left wide open to these Cavalry and Hargoneth Executioners that are coming over this way. And here we go, the cavalry have broken free. They don't charge up there, I thought they would have charged up there. But the Euclaw, e or Reaper Bolt Throwers, sorry, Reaper Bolt Throwers, doing a nice little bit of damage to the last remaining Bugman's Rangers, a nice frost wind going down, freezing them, stopping them from really doing much. But there's not that many of them left over anyway. So it probably didn't matter too much. And the miners just deciding to take shots. That's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Reaper crossbowers just going to use up all their ammunition. Annihilating those miners. And now here comes the cavalry to get into the grudge throwers. So there's no protection, the miners don't seem to be moving back for some reason. And it's just a matter of cleaning the last of those grudge throwers up now. Here we go, a couple of the miners coming over, attempting to stop, but probably a little late. All things considered. The artillery have basically run out of ammunition as well, so... Oh! A rune lord going down over there from the shades. And there's still some full health Hageneth executioners coming in, so that's not... One of the dwarf lords going down as well. From the Hageneth executioners. And now it's just... A matter of everyone getting up here and taking out the last of these miners and artillery. Oh, another spell going down here. Vortex going down on those goblobbers. Doesn't do quite as much damage. No, not really. Wasn't quite in the right place. But these miners here are going to get absolutely annihilated by the Hargneth Executioners. And more cavalry, shades and everything coming charging up the hill. Ready to help out. Those hammerers have finally come back from chasing off the um, Black Art Corsairs. But there's not a lot left that the dwarves can actually do. They've basically only got artillery and a few miners. 
weaklings! By Kane! Attack! So let's see them fight out to the death, hey? Some more harpies have come back. Malekith running rampant through the backs of those gobblobbers there. Grudge throwers. All the miners getting cleaned up. Hageneth executioners going back for the hammerers. And there's just nothing left. Basically, very shortly they should be shattering, I would assume. Spreading misery, carnage. Reaper bolt throwers still finishing off, but there we go, they do end up fleeing. So we get a Pyrrhic victory. Okay, so quite a lot of damage going down from those Harganeth Executioners. Same for the Shades, they did a very good job. Harpies did what I wanted them to do, disrupt the artillery for as long as they could. Death Hag doing alright. Blackheart Corsair is getting absolutely obliterated by those Goblobbers and Grudge Throwers at the start. Yeah, absolutely obliterated by them. But their lines just weren't able to hold up long enough in order to protect from all the flanking either. Reaper bolt throwers not doing the best. Probably could have done without them, I would think. And those Hageneth executioners kind of... For being full health at the end of the battle, towards the end of the battle, and only coming in towards the end, they didn't really do all that much for losing all their health. So they must be versing the hammerers and stuff like that. Anyway, it's a good victory, good game. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!